Hey guys, happy Sunday. Can you guess where I am? I'm in the Wild Birds room. So since this Sunday looks a little different and we're gonna be having church at home, I thought I could bring you to your classroom so you can remember all the fun we've been having in class. So, I hope you remember that we've been working on our A, B, C memory verse. But last week was a really special week because it was, what holiday was it? The 4th of July. So we talked about how we can be fireworks for Christ and shine really bright for Christ. Before the 4th of July, we were focusing on a really important letter. Do you guys remember what it was? Here are a few hints. Okay, if you haven't guessed yet, the last letter we worked on was the letter S. What comes after the letter S in the alphabet? Q R S T. We're on the letter T today. So this verse says, Exodus 20, 15, thou shalt not steal. This is a really short verse, but it's a really important verse. So we're gonna go over to our memory verse map and dive a little deeper. You ready? In order to look and dive a little deeper into your memory verse, you're gonna need your Bible. So go get whatever Bible you have at home. I'm using our children's Bible that we have in the Wild Birds room, but if you don't have a children's Bible, you can get your parents to grab their Bible. And we are gonna to turn to the book of Exodus. Exodus is the second book in the Bible. And we've talked about this book a few times because this book is the book where Moses is leading his people through the wilderness to the promised land. And God gives Moses the 10 commandments. Let me see, 10 fingers. And these are 10 commands by God that God asks us to follow in order to live a good life and to show honor to our God. And so this verse, Exodus 20, 15, for the letter T, says, thou shall not steal. So this is one of the 10 commandments. And this is something that is very important to God. God says, do not steal. And stealing means to take something that is not yours. And of course we don't need to do that because it's not right to take things that don't belong to us. But another reason is because God promises to provide us with every single thing that we need. He says that if we love Him and we follow His commands and we live our life for Him, like last week and we live and we're a light for Him and we show people love and joy and compassion and self-control and patience and all of these things that God talks about in His Word, if we do that, then He provides us with every single thing that we need. He says if we knock on the door, that He will answer it. And a lot of times, even if we want something, God knows the desires of our heart. And if we want something and God sees fit for us to have it, He's going to give it to us. Why should we steal? That makes, that makes God feel like we don't believe that He can give us things and that He can do stuff for us. Get your Bibles out and turn to the book of Exodus, which is the second book of the Bible. And Moses is talking about the Ten Commandments. And look through these Ten Commandments with your parents. And maybe you guys can talk about why God gave us these commandments and why they're important to us. I know that you guys are bright lights for God. For God, You are fireworks for Christ. And you want to live a life that pleases God and shows others how much God loves them and how much God loves you. And so remember that God asks us to not steal. So I love you guys and I miss you and I hate I can't see you this week. But I'll see you very soon, and I have lots of fun stuff planned for you this week. So be sure to keep checking YouTube and Facebook. I'll see you soon. Bye.